Hi everybody and welcome to Alana Dancing Star Part 2. Um, for those of you who may have missed Part 1, I'm Arlene Phillips and I wrote a series of dance books about a little girl named Alana, which is the name of my daughter. She loved to dance, but her home life was quite difficult and she often didn't get the opportunity. And this book is called LA Moves and Alana and her best friend Mina, they're practicing a waltz, which is a little bit old fashioned and the kids at school laugh at her. So she decides she's going to do something different and she goes past Madame Coco's costume emporium. They had just the thing to help. When Alana tries on a magical dance outfit, she finds herself in America, Los Angeles, performing street dance with her favorite boy band, TJS. There she is in the studio, hidden away, as she sees her favourites take to the stage. Alana could not believe what she was seeing. And as she stood hidden behind the speakers, she followed every step of the dance, moving her hips gently to the beat. Then when the music shifted to a slower section, an American voice called out, Cut! Sorry guys, this is not working. Let's take a break and we will be back in 10 minutes. The teenagers wandered off to catch their breath, but Alana wasn't looking at the dancers, but her favorite, favorite group, TJS, on their break. Max was her absolute favorite and they strolled over to get some refreshments, chatting away and drinking swigs of water from their bottles. Suddenly, Alana nearly jumped out of her skin as she heard voices right on the other side of the loudspeaker that she was hiding behind. The routine is awesome, one of them said. Yes, said the other one except for the slow section after the second bridge. The director's right, it's just not working. They're gonna have to change the choreography. Just then the director shouted out, okay, back in position. We have gotta finish this video very soon. Alana could see that everyone was totally disciplined. As soon as the director spoke, the backing dancers stopped chatting and got ready for the next take. Even the TJS boys put their drinks down and moved straight back onto the dance floor. Alana watched everyone go through the routine again and the director said, cut, in exactly the same place. And this happened four times more. Alana was so engrossed in what she was doing that without realising it, she had crept further and further out from behind the speaker. After the fourth cut, she was watching Max chatting with one of the bandmates when suddenly he looked up and their eyes met. Horrified, she ran, ducked back behind the speaker but it was too late. She could hear footsteps coming towards her. Alana's heart beat faster and faster. What was going to happen to her? You couldn't just barge in on a shoot like this. She was going to be in so much trouble. And it wasn't even her fault. She was starting to wonder whether visiting Madame Coco's shop wasn't a bit too exciting because every time she put on a different costume she arrived in the country of where the dance was first formed Vienna for the Viennese waltz Brazil for the samba and the hot sand suddenly Max appeared around the side of the speaker 
He was smiling. Hey girl, he said, what you doing? Are you hiding there? Um, I, I, I was just watching, said Alana. Her voice was quite squeaky. Well, there's not much to see at the moment, he replied. We've got a big problem we need fixing. Do you ever make up your own dance routines? Yes, sometimes. In my bedroom, said Alana shyly. Hey, maybe you can help. We're having a nightmare here. We can't seem to get this routine down. It's the middle section that's not working. I know the bit you mean, said Alana. The director keeps getting you to do it again and again and again. Exactly, said Max. We've come all the way to LA to shoot this new track with supposedly the best in the business, but we've got to fly home tonight for a big concert. And at this rate, we're never going to catch our flight. We can't let our fans down. We have to be there. Do you have any ideas? Uh, uh, yes, uh, said Alana. Uh, yeah, but it's a, a fantastic routine. I love it. But yeah, I suppose the middle isn't quite as good as the rest, but it's still good. <laughs> Max smiled and started to walk away. Alana closed her eyes. You idiot, she said to herself. Oh, that sounded so dumb. Just before Max was out of earshot, she shouted out, um, maybe it's because the music changes from a 4-4 four, four to a 3-4 four suddenly and, uh, hey, yeah, I guess so, said Max, looking back at her. Well, Alana continued, feeling a little more confident. You see, if the beat is going one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, then it suddenly changes in the middle to one, two, three, one, two, three. It's maybe hard to keep the same dance style going. You could be onto something, girl, said Max. Maybe we need to try something different in that section. Hey, you know your stuff. Come on, come up here. What would you suggest? Me, said Alana feeling very shy again. Uh, I don't know anything. Honestly, you don't need me. I mean, the only dance I know in three, four time is a waltz. Alana cringed and turned bright red. She couldn't believe what she'd just said. Here was the coolest and most good looking guy on earth chatting to her. And all she could talk about was the waltz. Oh. She was so upset with herself. Uh, hey, hey, you, what did you just say? A young woman with a pierced nose came up to her. Ah, this is Suki, said Max. She's the hot choreographer of our, of our video. Uh, she makes all the decisions about what we're going to do and what choreography is in each of the videos. Alana could see that poor Suki's makeup was running down her face, bags under her eyes, and she looked so tired. Hey, Suki, said Max. Uh, this is... Oh, hey, girl. Sorry, I haven't even asked your name. It's Alana, said Alana, blushing. But please... Please ignore what I was saying. It doesn't matter, honestly. Uh, I'll just be over there and I'll hide and I won't disturb you again. Suki gripped Alana's arm and looked at her. Just tell me what you were saying to Max, right? It was nothing. I was just saying that in the only dance in three, four time, I know, is the waltz when it goes to that middle bit and it's three, four time? Alana hung her head. Hey, the waltz, said Suki, closing her eyes and going into deep thought. Hey, that could be the answer. It's inspired. 
Not a world says anyone would recognize it, but an up-to-date version for the hip-hop generation, for the TikTok generation. Hey, that's it. A revolutionary waltz, TJS style. Wow, way to go, girls, said Max, and high-fived Alana. Suki ran up to the director, and Alana could see her talking to him and gesturing excitedly. The director was nodding. Okay, okay, everyone. Hey, we're going to get a longer break, back in 45 on the dot, okay? Okay, cool. I'm starving, said Max. Hey, Alana, I'm sick of the food here. We get given on the shoot. It all tastes the same. What do you say we go out and grab something to eat together from outside? Huh, sure, replied Alana. Hey, guys, shouted Max. Let's go grab a bite to eat. The other members of TJS came strolling over. This is Alana, said Max. She's going to join us. How's it going, Alana? shouted the boys. Hey, Alana. Uh, I'm very well, thank you, said Alana, thinking how stupid she sounded. She was so overwhelmed that she was actually about to have lunch with the whole of TJS. It was quite surprising she was managing to speak at all. She was so excited, but maybe it was all a dream. The five of them went out of the warehouse where they had been making the music video and went into a brightly lit reception with frame platinum, platinum discs and photos of bands all over the walls. Only then, Alana realized it wasn't a real warehouse. It was actually a set design in the middle of a film studio. She was actually in a film studio. As they left the building and walked out to the blazing hot streets of LA, the boys immediately pulled on their baseball caps and sunglasses, hunched their shoulders and started walking with their heads down to the ground. Oh, of course, thought Alana, they don't want to be recognized. She looked around into the squinting, glaring sunshine and in front of them on the hot pavements with palm trees, in the distance, she could see a hill with a Hollywood sign on it. They went into the first fast food restaurant they came to. It was called Popper's Pancake Paradise. Hey, what you having, Alana? asked Max. Alana ordered a chicken pancake with sour cream and bubblegum flavored milkshake topped with whipped cream and multicolored sprinkles. Max paid, luckily, as Alana didn't have any money at all, let alone any dollars. When everyone got their food, they all went to the corner table and sat down. And there's Alana and TJS heading to the restaurant. Ramon, one of the band members said, so Alana, tell us all about yourself. What's your story, huh? Immediately, Alana panicked. What was she going to say? How could she possibly explain who she was and how she'd come to be there? She didn't even understand how she'd come to be there herself. She was just wondering whether to make a run for it when suddenly there was a piercing scream. Three teenage girls came running over in high heels crying, Wow, it's them, it's TJS, I can't believe it. <laughs> the band glanced at each other. In a way, they realized their disguise clearly hadn't been good enough and hadn't worked. But they smiled charmingly at the girls, chatted away to them, and signed autographs on their napkins. By this time, the whole restaurant realized the band was there and there was no hope of the group having a quiet lunch. 
So they finished their pancakes and they all set off and ran back to the studio in time. Is it always like this wherever you go, said Alana? People chasing after you and shouting? Ha, huh, pretty much, said Max. But that's okay. I mean, we're lucky to have great fans who like our music and our dancing. So that means we don't get as much privacy as we want. That's just the way it goes. We're lucky. We really are. When they got onto the set, Suki was gathering all the backing dancers in the middle of the floor. The TJS boys went to join them and Alana went off to hide again behind the speaker. She felt much more comfortable where people couldn't see her. Suki started teaching everyone the new steps for the middle section and within 20 minutes everyone knew what they were doing. Okay, guys, into position, shouted the director, and action. Alana watched as the dancers did the new familiar steps. Then, when the music changed to the three, four times, they danced the new choreography they just learned perfectly. The movements had the same feeling as the earlier section, only now they were more fluid, with lots of body ripples and waves. Alana recognised some of the steps from the walls she'd been taught at Step Out Studios. It was weird, but somehow it worked. This time, the director let the song run right to the end without crying out, cut once. Hey, I think that's a wrap, everyone. Then he looked at Suki. Excellent work, excellent work, honey. You really turned that around. Alana saw Suki go over to him and whisper to him. Hey, actually, people, the director called, it seems there's someone else here who helped rescue this shoe. A girl called, uh, her name, uh, -huh. Alana, he continued. Let's hear it for Alana. Come on up here, Alana. Red with embarrassment. Alana crept out from her hiding place to huge applause from all the backing dancers and TJS. Max came over and put his arm around her, which made her go really dizzy. What do you say, girl? I think we should do the routine again just for fun and you can join us this time. Wow, said Alana, I would love to. Okay, guys, said the director, one more time. Max got Alana to line up so there were two members of TJS on either side of her. As she waited for the cue, her heart was beating madly and she was beginning to wish she hadn't agreed to do the routine. I don't even know basic street dance move. I'm going to look like such a loser. But there wasn't much time for her to get nervous because right then the director called action and the music began. Alana started dancing with TJS right on cue and she found to her amazement she could keep up with her steps without any problem. And when they did some amazing break dancing moves, she discovered that if in a dream, she could do them too, as if she'd been practicing this, these all her life. As the song drew to a close, Alana could feel that her cheeks were red, but this time with excitement and pride, not embarrassment. Hey, thanks, Alana, you were wicked, said Max, and gave her a hug. And as he did so, Alana felt him slip something into the back pockets of her slouchy trousers. Then, from somewhere in the distance, she heard a familiar voice saying, When your good deed is done, the call of home will beckon. You will return home. You will return home. Oh no, she thought, I don't want this adventure to end. But there was nothing she could do. She felt a whirling sensation in her head and the warehouse started to lose focus. 
the ground disappeared from beneath her and the sound of the dancers grew fainter and fainter. Then her feet touched the ground and she opened her eyes. She was back in Madame Coco's shop. She was standing in front of the floor length mirror, looking at herself and she saw her cheeks were pink and her eyes were bright with excitement of what had just happened. Madame Coco was sitting in a chair, smiling at her. Thanks, Madame Coco, she said, running over and giving her a little kiss on the cheek. I'm going to get changed now. I've got to run. I'm going to teach Mina this routine, the new routine I've just learned, so we can do it at the school talent show. I'll pack your dance clothes for you, said Madame Coco. What? said Alana. Can I really, really borrow them? Of course, said Madame Coco. You cannot do hip hop in your waltzing ball gown, that's for sure. As soon as Alana got home, she picked up the phone and called Mina. She told her that she found the answer to what they should do at the school talent show. But she wouldn't say any more over the phone. 10 minutes later, Mina was knocking on her front door. Alana hustled her up to her bedroom before her mum or her little sister, Abby, which by the way, is the name of my younger daughter. Um, and before Abby had a chance to ask, what was going on. So, asked Mina, spill the beans. I am desperate to know. I've got the answer, I've got the answer, said Alana, spinning around the room. Wait, wait, stop, stop spinning, said Mina. Just stand still and tell me. I can't stop, I'm too excited, Alana said, still spinning around. Then, as she paused, she realised it was really going to be incredibly hard to convince Mina to do the new TJS routine without telling her the secret of Madame Coco's shop. And if she were to tell Mina, she'd never believe her. She'd think she was crazy. So, uh, my idea, I think, is... We'll do a sort of waltzy kind of hip hop. Mina looked confused. Actually, I sort of mean a hip hoppy kind of waltz, said Alana. Mina sat down on Alana's bed, folded her arms and gave her a stare. Okay, look, said Alana, feeling desperate and trying to think quickly of what she could say without giving her secret away. I'll show you. She quickly put on Madame Coco's yellow and blue trainers. Where did you get those? asked Mina, her eyes wide with envy and disbelief. They're so cool. Oh, don't worry about where I got them, said Alana. Just watch me. Alana danced out the whole routine she'd learnt in LA, humming along, and she went, Now, we want the music to change three, four in the middle so we can do these moves. And she showed her the wonderful, fluid, waltzing hip hop steps she'd done with TJS. You see, she said, it's still a waltz, but not a waltz like anyone's seen before. Wow, Alana, said Mina, how did you learn to do that? How did you even think of it? Uh, it just popped into my head when I got back from dance class said Alana. Anyway, do you like it? Because if you do, we better get practicing because we've got a load of rehearsing to do. If we're going to perform this in one week's time. It took Mina a while to learn the moves, but by the end of the evening, she was starting to get them and she was really excited about what they were going to do. That night, as Alana lay in bed, staring at the big poster of TJS on her wall, 
she wondered what music they were going to use for their routine. They couldn't use the TJS song because they were singing it in LA and it hadn't even been released yet. What's the answer, Max? She said to herself, trying to sound like him and think of him. She looked at the poster on her wall and stared into the brown eyes of Max on her poster. Then she remembered that Miss Trina had a mixing de desk in her studio so that she could make up tracks for her students' performances. Maybe she'd help them by mixing together some old D TJS tracks to at least get the effect they needed. And so off she went the next day, early in the morning, to Miss Trina's recording studio. So there are three more chapters to go, which I will be reading to you. But what I wanted to talk about is that I'm going to do a dance competition and you're all invited to take part and send a little video. It doesn't really need to be longer than 30 seconds at the most. I mean, most TikToks are 15 seconds, so 30 seconds of dancing. And if you haven't had dance training, it doesn't matter. Take a look on YouTube. Um, what music do you like? What would make you want to dance? What it is that kind of reaches your heart? And there are lots of different styles. Of course, you can do hip hop or TikTok, or you can do contemporary or just improvise a dance. I think the first thing to do is find some music that you really love and then just feel free to dance. You can even make up a little story in your head. Imagine that you are a character that you've read about in a book and become them or someone on TV, even a star that you like. And it doesn't matter what you wear, you just need to dance around. And then I'm going to look at all the videos and pick one and you'll get a very special surprise from me and it will be delivered to your door. It could be lots of different things, but I think you're going to like it. So spend a little time this week. Um, I think you can even look up the, um, the Alana Dancing Star series um, on, on, I think it's on uh, Kindle, yeah. I think they're on Kindle. So, you know, if, if somebody in your family has a Kindle, you could even become Alana or her little sister, Abby. But just dance your hearts out and I will see you very soon to finish the rest of the story. Bye.